Yeah, I can hear you now. Yeah. Sorry, man. Nonsense is in the house. How you doing, brother? I'm good, man. I'm, I apologize. I had it all set up on my computer, and I was looking at the wrong email address. I've got I've got a lot of stuff going on, man. I apologize. Hey, that's a good thing. If you got a lot of things going on, that means you're staying busy and you're and you are you are staying active. Now it's just about kind of like getting prioritized, right? And then just moving forward in the right direction so that you focus all your time and energy in something that's going to expand. What is it that you are up to, though, as far as the 360 booth goes, my brother? All right. So uh, I'll give you a brief rundown of where I'm at. All right. Um, me and my wife started a, a business, a 360 business. We purchased one about uh, three months ago. Um, uh, we, we purchased the 360. Uh, we purchased an enclosure, the uh, enclosure deluxe, the light enclosure. Uh, we bought both of those from Revo Spin. I, I, I found you after I purchased that stuff. <laughs> All right. So, so yeah, we uh, we bought the, the the 360. We bought the uh, RA6. Uh, I think it holds up to four people. Uh, got got the enclosure. Uh, I got cold sparks uh, after after listening to one of your videos. I ordered a set of cold sparks. Got lighting. I've got stanchions. I've got um, iPhones, iPad. I, I've got all the equipment I need. Um, uh, had we had our first gig, our, our launch uh, two weeks ago, uh, maybe three weeks ago, we did a wedding. Okay. Uh, went well. Uh, we had a couple hiccups, um, and found out that I don't know as much as I thought I needed to know, <laughs> which, okay. is, which is which is the reason for the call. Um, so we 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 did a lot of testing. I watched I watched all your videos. We tested, we tested, we tested. Uh, and the, one of the problems I ran into was I wasn't as educated about the setup and equipment that I thought I was. Mm -hmm. uh, and for instance, I purchased the Revo Spin, of course, from Revo Spin. I bought the 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 spinner and the enclosure together. But what they didn't tell me, and I didn't find out. Uh, this is why I'm, this is why uh, testing is very very important. All all your equipment you need to test it at the same time, because the enclosure is so encumbersome. It's it's so big and um, uh, it's it's really a bear to set up. It takes time. Mm -hmm. So we set it up once. We found out how difficult it was going to be. We didn't set it up again during our testing, right? Okay. So we set up the Revo Spin. We practiced. We got our camera settings correct. We got everything the way we wanted it. We thought we were ready for the event. We get to the event, and this is the first time that we're setting up everything together. Okay. The enclosure, the, the spinner, everything. So we set the enclosure up. Um, uh, that takes three people. Uh, then I put the spinner in and found out the spinner with the arm fully extended the way we practice doesn't work. It doesn't fit. Right. So um, I had to adjust some things on the fly, adjust it. We didn't get the, the, the quality of, of videos that I, I wanted. Our, our client was happy, was super happy. They were super stoked uh, of what they got. But me knowing the pro what we wanted to, you know, the, the standard we wanted to set, I was, I was upset with it. Okay. Um, so I was kind of upset about one about me not doing enough practice and in, in being lazy, cutting corners and not practicing the way I should have. And okay. two, I feel like Revo Spin probably should have said, "Hey, listen, I see that you're purchasing a, a RA RA six. It's sure. not going to fit in this enclosure if, if you're going to put these two together." So that's 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 my thing. Uh, but where I, where I was going to enlist your expertise at is um, the marketing aspect of it, the social media. Um, uh, all those things. I'm not very versed on any of that stuff. Okay. Uh, I, I have a I have an Instagram page. I have a Facebook page, um, but I don't know what to do with them. <laughs> you know, so I, I need I need guidance in that area. Yeah. So to start off, I think it's great that you, even though your client was happy, I like the fact that you yourself inside knew. Hey, as far as the production goes, I know that it could have been better and. Because you know that deep inside, you're you're not BSing yourself, and you know that you could have done better if this and that would have came out the way you visualize it. So I like the fact that you you kind of you're in a sense very aware that things could have gone better, even though the client is happy. That's great, but I like the fact that you're pushing yourself and you're not satisfied. Like you want to continue producing quality content. So congratulations on that point of view and just kind of running your business with that state of mind. A lot of folks sometimes become complacent right away and that pretty much kind of stagnates the, the whole process of growing and evolving as a 360 booth business. Now let's go ahead and tap into the marketing aspect of it. 
Okay. Because there's just so many ways you can tackle it from buying ads on Facebook, from running promo videos on Instagram, from running a website, uh, like your website, for example. Sometimes your host, what they'll do is they'll say, hey, we can put a campaign together for you. There's just so many ways you can tackle the marketing part of this business. For me, I love doing things organically and I don't like paying out of pocket for promoting my business and getting a lot more awareness to the actual business here within a certain parameter of where I reside, which is out here in uh, California in the city of San Bernardino. Quantrell, as far as your area goes, do you know more or less how your competition is looking as far as like how how many operators are within a certain mile radius from you? Yeah, we're, we're in Tallahassee, Florida. Um, uh, and the market is, is, is saturated. There are two, it's a college town. There are two major universities here. Okay. Uh, they have lots of parties, lots of you know, homecoming events. Uh, and there are a lot of state agencies here um, that have uh, corporate events, a lot of corporate events. So the market is kind of saturated. Um, there, there are probably over uh, 40 vendors in the area. Okay. Um, but none, none of the vendors have an enclosure, which is why I purchased it because I thought I'd set my, you know, I'd, I'd kind of stand out from the others. Okay. Um, so there, there are about 40, but a lot of them aren't doing what I envision our company to do. I like to do corporate events. I like to do um, kind of upscale events. Okay. Uh, and, and kind of create a niche in that, you know, in, the, in that in that sense. Mm -hmm. uh, but I'm not opposed to doing anything. I, I kind of want to scale my business. I've got two packages. I've got one with the enclosure, of course, and that takes, you know, it's going to depend on the venue they they um, um that they have the, the client has, uh, and the space you know available. Uh, sure. if they don't have the space, of course, we can't use that package. But the um, two, so year, the two universities ahead. nearby, have you? Are you on their vendors list yet? Have you introduced yourself to them yet? For the, the school districts, I have. Um, I am in the process now of, of trying to get on the vendor, the state vendors list uh, for the state agencies. State vendors list, okay. Because, yeah. the, the, you know, you bring up some good points is that you have some elements to the atmosphere as far as the production goes that others don't have. One of them being cold sparks as well. A lot of folks don't have the cold sparks, so you stand out there. The enclosure can work well if there's enough space between the actual arm and the enclosure itself because if the arm is too close to the actual attendee then the video doesn't come out as great because it's almost just too close to their face right, right. yes and if you want to lean that arm back a little bit then it's going to hit the enclosure and there's a limitation there i think enclosures work really well when they started uh when they give enough space for the 360 booth but they're ideal for the stand booth the traditional stand booths where they just right. add a nice background and it's usually a background which white with led lights because of the enclosure integrated lights it has on it. I would focus a lot on keywords right now, Quantrell. If you don't want to spend money on marketing ads, you can take the same route I've been taking and that's just posting constantly on Google Profile, Yelp, and Instagram, and TikTok, and then streamline all those postings. So basically all you're doing, Quantrell, is copying and pasting. It's important. I'm gonna I'm gonna check something out. I want to see how that the algorithm is picking you up as far as um, SEO goes, because SEO is basically our best friend, and that's what we need to get familiar with in order to get in front of more eyeballs. Okay. okay. So let me go ahead and open this page here, and then and I'm gonna share my screen with you in a few seconds. What, what part of uh, Florida did you say you're in? Um, Tallahassee. How about this area right here? This is the 90 right here. Yep, that's me. Uh, right there, what says Midway? Okay. Okay, so this is your area right here. Okay. And currently, you don't have the 360 Google profile just yet? Uh, maybe I don't. I thought I did. Maybe I didn't do it right. I didn't do it right. Yeah, so for your business email, um, Quantrell, look, so if I go here, right, can you, can you see my screen still? Yes. If I go here and then I go into my Canary Capital Rentals, which is my business uh, Gmail, and if, if I go into these dots right here, it's a total of nine dots. If I go on here, I can select the business profile, right? So if you have your laptop right there in front of you, if you can go to Google and check out your business profile, we can take a look at your Google business profile because Google Good. business is a must-have, and that's where I get a ton of inquiries phone calls 
and basically lots of leads. And then my website just complements my Google profile as well. So they kind of work hand in hand. Um, can you check to see, or can you share your screen with me too? You can do that if you want. Sure. So, so I can take a look at your Google business profile. All right, let me get there. Right there. All right. So go to sign in on the very top there on the top right. And then we'll see if there's a account. So so there's no okay. So what I would do now in this in this particular part of the process Quantrell is you want to use keywords that are going to basically help you stand out the most when it comes to SEO. So for example, your business is called Eventful and uh, what, what's the full name? Eventful event rentals. So I would put in 360 booth eventful 360 booth just like that and then finish it off with your company business name there. Okay, rentals. All right. Then go ahead and proceed. <clears throat> go ahead. Yeah, continue. And so you would be a service business. And your business category, it would work best. Uh, in the meantime, you could put in a photo booth. Right there, photo booth. All right. So this business category, after after it's established, your business is established, we can always add categories because your business is gonna act as a rental company as well and as a party planning company. And there's just a lot of stuff that you can start in, uh, putting into your Google profile so that Google can start indexing you as a party rental company and a photo booth and you can get more hits and you can get more eyeballs on your website. So right here, this, is, this part is very important, Quantrell, because your business address is basically going to be the indicator of, okay, I'm within, let's say, five miles away from you on my Google, on my phone, and I'm on Google Maps, and I'm gonna type in 360 booth. It's gonna show you that you're five minutes away, it's gonna show me that you're five minutes away from me, so go ahead and put your residential address here accurately, right? And what's gonna happen is Google is going to send you a letter in the mail. And that letter in the mail is gonna have a verification PIN number you're gonna be using to identify and validate that, yes, I do reside here. Uh, and then what Google will do is it'll actually post your account on the Google profile with that address. And now that address helps you because when there's folks looking for a 360 booth nearby where you reside within a certain radius, you're gonna start getting priority and you're gonna start moving up the ranks just along with the address. Now there's other factors that are gonna help you rank and that's gonna be reviews, that's gonna be the type of services you're offering, and that's gonna be the description you're gonna use for your Google profile. So uh, once you enter all the information, we can continue and move on to the next phase here. And this is the number um, where people will be calling you at, Quantrell. This is my business phone, right? Beautiful. Yeah. And at this moment, if you have a, if you have, do you have a website besides just the social media? Yes, I do. All right. You want to go ahead and enter that in there. Okay. Go ahead. Continue. Yeah, so you can verify just with the text message, so they'll send you a text. Oh, let me go get my phone. Hold on one second. No problem.
let's go ahead and keep moving forward. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so right here, whatever hours we're going to select, Quantrell, we want to make sure that these hours are the hours that we're going to stick to. Because after this, what we also want to do is we want to hire one or two freelancers to start promoting our website. And, and when they promote our website, our website name, along with your business title, your hours, your phone number, your address, all that stuff, it needs to stay consistent. So whatever hours you're gonna select on uh, here, let's make sure that those hours are gonna match the same hours that you're gonna put up on Yelp and on your website as well. So if you can do this later or you can do this now, um, you can do next or skip. Uh, this is your time and I just wanna make sure that we do the very, very basics. And, and the basic is we need to have a Google business profile the business Google profile is absolutely free and it's definitely gonna act as a big anchor for your business. Your website, I can check it right now in a few moments to see how it's ranking. And um, how, who, who made your website, Quantro? Uh, party vendors. Party vendors? Uh, yep. Okay, I'm curious to see uh, how many citations you have. So we'll check that out in a few moments. Okay. So let customers message your business on Google for free. It, it's up to you. I like my clients calling me. I like them picking up the phone because I do prefer serious inquiries. And when you're serious about possibly booking, you're gonna pick up the phone because you wanna make sure there's a human on the other side. You're right. But this is totally up to you. You can either go to skip or next or, or not accept messages. It's totally up to you. So turn on call history. What that is is what they'll do is they'll keep track of people who are calling you. Um, for that, I, I don't have mine turned on. I don't. Uh, it's <clears throat> now this right here is important. If we go to, if we go over to your website, on your website within one of your pages, do you have a business description already, Contro? Uh, I do. I'm not sure how good it is, but I do. <laughs> yeah, let's go visit your web. Let's leave this open here, but let's open up a new tab and let's go visit your website. Sure. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to work on, on the on the website uh, and we're only going to focus on the SEO part of the website, Quancho. You can have a really nice looking website with some amazing photos like the ones I'm looking at right now. But we need to make sure that the website is set to communicate perfectly fine with the algorithm when it comes to search engine optimization. And there's a lot of videos here and because there's a lot of videos here, sometimes it takes a while for the website to upload this information and then have the screen going. So what I'm looking for right now on your website, and maybe it's in the under the home section, I'm looking to see if you have a description where you can just copy and paste uh, onto your Google profile. Yeah, I do. I do. This here, we can we can take this one, I guess. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's that uh, that has a lot of keywords. I like it. It has 360 photo booth in there. 360 booth, 360 photo booth experience, uh, technology. Okay, so we can we can actually grab that. Uh, go ahead and copy and paste. Move this. There we go. I'm gonna paste that right in there. Let's get uh, me making memories for life. Let's go ahead and delete that. And then on top of that, let's do this too. Here, give me one second here. I'm going to send you something in the chat. Let me know if you can copy and paste what I'm about to send you here in our chat box, Quantro. All right. See here. Go ahead and open up my website, Quantro. I, I, I sent you the link on the chat box. <clears throat> cool. And uh, let's scroll down a little bit. right there, those two paragraphs. Let's go ahead and grab those two paragraphs from where it says a camera revolves, right there. And then let's let's copy everything all the way to the bottom here. There you go, keep on going. Let's also add that, see, th so this is basically um, adding meat to the bones. So the more, yeah. the more meat, the more words, the more uh, keywords, the better. So let's copy and paste that as well into the Google profile. The what, what types of events? So go back to your Google profile where we're at, where we just pasted. Oh, okay, we're gonna copy this, gotcha. Yeah. 
and copy that at the bottom of this. Right, because we still got plenty of characters. We still got another, uh, let's see, we put in 270. We have a total of 750. Let's go ahead and just pop that in there. And I think that, yeah, okay, so let's see. This rolling sheet. So then we can go ahead and just get delete the last sentence there. All right, sweet. Cool. All right, so now we can hit next because that's that's what I call a nice, solid business description. Now, photos. I'm sure you, you, you have photos by now, right? And if you don't have photos, that's okay, Quantrell. Let me know if you don't have photos because what I'll do is I'll send you 360 booth photos of my events so that you can put these photos onto your Google profile. Photos are essential. Basically, what we're going to start doing moving forward, Quantrell, is we're going to use your Google profile as a social media. Uh, and But it's going to be way, 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 way more powerful than any of the social media you're currently using right now because at the, we're talking about Google's search engine. So I, I want you to really get familiar with the Google po uh, business profile, and I want you to get used to posting uh, every week, at least minimum once a week. Even if you don't have events every single week, I can I can send you videos. I can send you video. I can send you videos and pictures, and you can just post like an update. Okay. Every time you're posting an update, it makes you more relevant as a 360 booth service provider. So if you don't have any photos right now, like I said, I'll send you some. If you do have photos, you, you just go to add photo and then go into your folder and add a, fo a photo just to get started with. <clears throat> Let's see what I got. I've got a couple, but if you can send some, I'd, I'd appreciate it. Yeah, so let's it, skip that. Let's skip that for now, because uh, okay. there's, there's a few more things that I'm, I want to show you that are very powerful. Okay. Um, and by the way, I'm recording this session too, Quantrell. So, uh, sometime today, when it finishes compressing, I can upload it to YouTube and have it as a private video and send you the link so that you can circle back and revisit some of these um, points that we're touching upon t today. Awesome. Uh, or we can make it public so that everyone can see what you're up to. It's going to be up to you, Chief. So okay. right here, it says claim your free advertising credit. That's something that we don't want to do right now. So let's skip that. Continue. Okay. So now where it says 360 booth eventful event rentals, that's your Google business profile. So uh -huh. go ahead and hit next. Okay, I'm gonna share my screen with you because I wanna show you some good examples of how I would like to see your Google profile develop. And, and also, um, I hope that you can kind of get some ideas too and put your own flair to it. Okay. And from, from that, I'm gonna show you some, some other important stuff too. And we're also gonna go ahead and check out your uh, website as well. Um, that way you can start uh, really optimizing your platforms to complement certain keywords. That way you get these the attention and, and, and you start ranking for the term 360 booth event rentals, especially out in your location out in uh, Florida. So I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen now with you here. All right. <clears throat> And you are able to see my screen? Yes. Cool. I'm going to type in 360 booth rentals. And so this is how your page is going to soon uh, look like, right? You want to have plenty of photos. So when folks are looking for 360 booth rentals, it's going to take them to the closest places, uh, to the closest businesses near them that provide this service. How does the algorithm know? Well, when you have your your website set up and you have your Google profile, the words right here are already right right at the very beginning. So that helps a great deal. And then Canary Capital Rentals, the rest of the name of my business, the correct address. This is what I mean by uh, make sure your hours are all in uh, in uniform and all your platforms. My phone number, and then on top of that, we you and I both have a website which really helps us out. Put that right there. Uh, every single time you have an event. Quantrell, always try to get a minimum of two reviews, two five-star reviews. Okay. What you want to do is you always want to tell your guests, if you guys can please include the keywords 360 booth in your review. Even if you just type in 360 booth and give me five stars, that alone is going to help because Google 
acknowledges that there's a five star here, there's a satisfied client, and there's a ter- there's a keyword here, 360 booth in this area. And it'll okay. start sending people your way. And you and I just finished doing this part right here, which is the description. You gotta, like I said, it looks nice because it has a lot of information in it and it has keywords uh, like service quality, uh, 360 photo booth here, 360 booth photo booth here on the top. So that that's gonna help you out. So I posted four days ago, uh, right over here, Chief, and it was simple. You just go to your, uh, you just go to your, uh, go to your Google profile, and just like you post pictures and videos, you do the same thing with your Google profile. Now, that's a piece of cake, but you have to be consistent. Meaning gotcha. you have to post at least, like I said, once a week, and then sooner or later it'll look like this. So this is when this is the business where I first started here in San Bernardino, and then I also recently started marketing out in um, Los Angeles area, uh, Quantro, and that's about, I wanna say a solid one hour, 10 minutes away from where I'm at right now. So if I type in 360 booth Los Angeles, you'll see that I'm not ranking at the very, very top. And the reason why is because I'm focused more in the area that I'm in right now. However, I do wanna get more, uh, more inquiries and, and promote my businesses further out. So when I type in 360 photo booth Los Angeles, like like I just did here right now, you'll see that we're, we're gonna not let's not pay attention to the ads. A lot of people don't like uh, clicking where they see the word ads, but these are the people that are on the very very top here. Okay. Okay. So that's my goal is is for you to make it to the top three, and that's gonna take some time. So for me, let's not include the ads. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm in seventh place. With four, uh, with the total of uh, four reviews here in this area, I don't promote heavily in this area because with gas prices, I don't want to drive too far for these events. So, so that that's our goal, Quantro, is to get you in the top three. Once we get you in the top three, you'll notice a big difference on how many calls are coming your way because your Google profile will tell you it'll look something like this. Okay. So I'm in my Google profile right now, just like you uh, will be, and it'll even give you like performance right here, right? And on top of performance, it'll give you uh, information that you can definitely utilize to your advantage. Now, if I go to, let's see, maybe if I go to, I think it's under insights. It'll give you request directions, call, visit website. So you keep track of the people that are trying to get a hold of you, when they're trying to get a hold of you, as far as what hours are the busiest mm-hmm. for you, and all this information that's going to be extremely helpful for you because then you get to start making like tweaks, and then you you, can, you even get a little section like this right here, okay? So this is business profile interaction, so it goes by month here, right? And this month has slowed down drastically, not just for me, but for everybody in the industry because right now people are really holding back on some spending because for, for Christmas, that. for the holidays. Precisely, it's absolutely right. So this is a tough time for, for uh, you know, anyone in the party industry. Uh, what's great is that you mentioned that you really wanna target corporations and when you target corporate businesses, corporate businesses are gonna spend whatever money they have left from their budget because they don't want that budget to get to not get taken advantage of for the, for the, for the, the next year. year. Correct. Right. So, Definitely, you know, I like your mentality as far as targeting corporate locations because their budget set up a little differently. And fourth quarter, they're trying to spend the, every single dollar they have left for marketing and whatever department uh, they have a budget for. So, yeah, so as you can see, it's been slow, brother. Like ever since September, boom, it, it dropped drastically. But this is where we're at right now. And then as far as like, you, you know, calls as well. And people that are calling right now are people that are calling because they want to book for next year. Okay. So this is what I like. And then website clicks, 260 clicks here, 210 clicks. And like I said, boom, it's, it's slowing down. So I just wanted to give you a visual just to show you how powerful this free application is or, or, or free service that Google provides for us business owners. Um, because I don't want you to go on Facebook and start throwing money into marketing and then say you'll get one or two inquiries or just let's say you spend two hundred dollars and you get one booking, but you constantly have to spend money because once you stop promoting, no more calls. Right. 
And, and that's not the way you want to do it. You want to do it organically so that your so that the algorithm acknowledges you as an authority when it comes to you know Quantrell's business being a 360 booth provider in this specific area, okay. your location. And that's my goal is to, like I said, get people to have a strong three six, uh, strong business Google profile so that they don't have to shell out money, but instead just constantly produce content on the platform, get feedback from their clients and just get that snowball effect going. Okay. Yeah. So that's the Google business profile aspect of it. Now, another thing too, that's ex extremely powerful is Google owns YouTube. Did you know that? Yes. So Google owns YouTube. So what I do now is um, if I type in 360 photo booth and then I type in my city here, um, my website is at the very, very, very top. That's another thing that we can work on. Uh, but websites for them to rank and get to all the way to the top of your Quantrail, that takes, it could take months uh, when it comes to ranking a website. It, do, it doesn't happen very, very fast. Uh, like videos and if I keep scrolling down just a little bit you'll see that I almost monopolized the whole front page of, of Google with these keywords with videos right here You see that so people are very visual yeah. and because they're very visual they're gonna click on that video and I want I want you to be in the same uh, situation as me so that when people type in uh, 360 photo booth, and then is it, uh, how do you pronounce it? Tala, Tala of, uh, Tallahassee. Tallahassee, Florida. Mm -hmm. I want you to be here at the very, very top, but it's gonna take, uh, it's gonna take some work. It's gonna take some time and creativity, okay? Okay, sure. Th this is the way to do it because it's organic growth and organic growth goes a long ways. It's, it's solid. Uh, and so if you have a video on YouTube, on your YouTube page, and this is how it's going to be set up. It's, I'm going to go down here. So within your Google channel, it's going to it, it you can call it 360 photo booth rental Tallahassee, Florida. You could just you just give it that solid name because that solid name is what we call a long tail keyword. Long tail keywords are very effective. And then in the bottom right here, Quantrell, you would put your website. Okay. So as soon as they see the video, they like the cold sparks, they like the enclosure, they like the quality, they like the vibe. Let me check this. Uh, let me check this out a little bit more because when you and I are ready to make a purchase or hire someone or or consider a service, we do a ton of research, especially if we're going to be spending hundreds of dollars, right? Right. So they're going to be looking at your Instagram. They're going to be. Try they really want to know what they're getting themselves into, right? And then they're going to call you. So this is the part where you you start getting familiar with hashtags that are gonna complement your business and you wanna start really ranking and, and being an authority when it comes to certain hashtags like this. And then always, always, Contra, put your business website in the description because now YouTube is gonna act as a, what we call citation. And citations are extremely powerful because what citation is, is it's sending signals to the algorithm saying this is relevant with this and this matches with this. It's like putting out a, a giant net, a giant web out there uh, for specific keywords. So that's what you would do. Definitely uh, at the very bottom, of course, you're gonna add the TikTok, the Instagram, the Facebook, all of your information, always, every single time you post on YouTube. Please post on YouTube at least once a week, Quantrell. Okay. Whatever you're posting on Google, post it on YouTube and then copy and paste and put it on your Instagram, put it on your social media. And I know it sounds like again, 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 but trust me, it's gonna get to a point where you're gonna be booked and overbook to a point where you're like, should I bump up my prices or should I hire more staff? And then you'll have that situation. And that part right there, man, I'm still struggling with because no one's gonna represent your brand like you are. Thanks. So, so that, that's, that's a tough one. So now I'm gonna, I'll, I'll just tell you right now, since I have you on, on, on the Zoom, I bumped up my prices and I'm still being booked at these higher prices. Now I'm charging $700 for two hours, Quantrell. So I bumped it up a hundred dollars, brother. Okay, uh, just because it's very difficult to find people that will really go out there and and put on a show, you know. Uh, and it's it's interesting because even if you offer them a higher pay rate, that's not that that doesn't motivate them. It's it's I, it just it's it's confusing for me. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I don't know what's going on, bro. 
Uh, it's this so generation. This generation. It, it's the generation. Yeah, man. It's yeah. very. It's very <sighs> we'll see what happens, man. We'll see how things unfold because a lot's going on right now. But let's let's continue focusing. So, um, I'm gonna go ahead and go check out your uh, website really right. fast here. I want to check out your website as well. Eventful. Eventful. Event rentals. Event. Okay, just, just to make sure I got it down. Eventful event rentals, just like this? Yep. All right. So this is a good example of a website that's not ranking yet, Quantrell. It doesn't mean that it's going to be like this forever. It just means that we need to work on certain things, okay? So event full event rentals is considered a three-word uh, three keyword. It's not considered necessarily a short keyword or a long keyword. It's, it's somewhere in the middle. And if I scroll down here, it shows Facebook because it has this, this keyword in it and it has an Instagram and I want to say is this your Instagram right here yep okay that's beautiful so I'm glad that the uh, Instagram is way up here is this your Facebook I'll click on it you, you tell me if it's not no I don't think that's me no okay no yeah then no it's not me. okay but one thing though let's just acknowledge this here even though it's not you, did you see how they're ranking at the very, very top for those yep. keywords? We want yep. it to be you. And this is what I mean by uh, being consistent and constantly posting because the algorithm picks that up and then rewards you with uh, you know, page authority and then page relevancy. And that's how they put you on the very top of Google there. So that's just a perfect example of how when we type this in, this individual here came all the way at the very, very top with not even their website, but Facebook, hmm. right? So we can, we, can, we can get those same results, but it's about constantly posting and being relevant with these keywords. We also want to go ahead and market the fact that you have wedding sparklers. So if we start focusing on those keywords, you know, cold spark machines, wedding sparkler machines, those keywords right there, if we start embedding them in all your, in, uh, your postings, the algorithm will start picking that up as well because it'll get indexed and it'll get it'll get acknowledged. It's it's like when your when your information crawls in the uh, in the net, it'll start getting indexed. So I'm still scrolling down here, and it's not popping up. We're going to the second page. A lot of folks don't even go to the second page. Right. Um. So go ahead and let's do this event full. Nope. Okay, so I'm going to go to the third page, but if we don't see it here, I'm going to go back to the first page, and I'm going to just type it in here at the very top, and it's event, full event rentals.com. Okay, here I am. results okay so these are called citations Quantrell and when I when I did the minus site and then eventfuls.com right here it shows us there's a total of 10 citations if we can get you to like 150 or more that's gonna go at that's that's how you start ranking okay so, so for example look at they have you here must have wedding right <clears throat> here here and for whatever reason, they have you here, the site rank. Uh, so I'm guessing that the people that made your website, uh, they spent a little time on trying to get some backlinks. Okay. So even though you're not, might, you might not be familiar with this website, they have you as they have your website embedded in their website, which is which is called a backlink or a citation. So the more citations you have, the more relevant you are. <clears throat> okay. So these guys at their 
this, there's a, the top three right here. One, two, and someone's ranking with Instagram and someone's ranking with Facebook. So let's just focus on these two. Magic moment right here when I typed in these words. Three, uh, 360 booth here. Or I could do, I could even do this. Little booth like that. So I'm going to click on these guys really quick here, Quantrell, because I want to show you site. Okay, so we, we were at 10 results with yours. They are at 226, which means that if we can get to 226 or, or farther out, say let's get to 300, you're going to be competing with them for the top, top space. And your question might be, well, David, how do I get my website to that, uh, to that very top? And, and right. that's by getting a ton of uh, uh, citations, and that takes time. But it's not expensive, Quantrell, because someone else is going to be doing the work for you. And, and, and you're paying someone in a different country, you're hiring a freelancer through Fiverr. That's exactly what I did. I went okay. on Fiverr and I hired about two, I hired, I hired three freelancers, two of them to work on live backlinks and one of them to work on my Google, uh, Google Maps to make me more relevant when it is a certain zip code. And I just patiently waited. And after a few weeks, this number for me started going up. So at one point, I was at in the 200s at one point, and then the 300s, 400s. I don't know where I'm at today, but I can tell you that every time I post a video on YouTube, I include my website, and that video alone acts as a citation. So if I gotcha. make 20 videos, now I got 20 citations. But I don't expect you to do the same thing because your lifestyle is different. So you might want to consider hiring, like I said, freelancers. You'll spend anywhere from 25 to maybe $35 and they'll do what's called a they'll put you in like 200 live links and it'll take time but it'll start recognizing it and that on top of that they're doing that work right and then you on your end you're posting on your social media and google profile when all these instruments start working together and everything gets orchestrated you will start dominating your area because you've got you you become familiar of how the algorithm works you're getting familiar with the formulas um I know I, I poured a lot out and I try to go quickly too because I know that you can circle back to this video, Quantro, mm -hmm. and you know, some of these highlights. But at this moment, I'm already past an hour. But I'll, do you have uh, questions that I can answer uh, as far as what we kind of covered today? I'm, I'm sure I will, but I don't want to monopolize your time. I'm, this is something I want to do on a, on a continuous basis, at least once a month with you. So um, if not more, um, so I'll, I'll, uh, I'll watch the video when you when you send it, okay. uh, and I'll, I'll probably email you some questions uh, if I can, if I can do that. But I definitely want to keep this as an ongoing type thing because there's so much more I got to learn. E email me, and then what I'll do is I'll respond to that email, and when I respond to that email, I'm going to include the services I paid for on Fiverr. And okay. you're gonna, and you'll see, like, what the heck? David didn't even spend over $100, and he got – and that's because – I did tons of research and I realized, you know, paying an, a freelancer in a different country uh, and to do this work, it's amazing how much money we can save as business owners to have them do this type of lifting for us, uh, do, the, sure. do the heavy lifting. And for us, like I said, let's just stay consistent and continue posting content on social media such as Instagram, TikTok, Google profile, a big deal today. That's, that's, that's pretty much what we really dove into today is, is the power of Google profile. Next sure. thing is going to be YouTube as well. Um, I, I would hang out with you a little bit more, Quantro, but I have to drive out to San Marino and survey an area for a wedding, and I want to make sure that the, the reception is going to be strong enough for touch picks to use, and I want to make sure that Cold Sparkler is going to be allowed because it's a beautiful place. It looks like a golf course, and I have to, I, I'm supposed to meet up with them. Uh, no worries, man. I appreciate your time. Yeah, so I... I, I, wa I want to continue seeing you develop your Google profile and I want to see your business get ranked on Google. That's exciting okay. for me to always, uh, you know, touch base with some of my one on ones and see like, oh, dude, like you're actually on the first page now, not the very <laughs> top, but you're finally like now right. your website 
comes up when I type in your website in the Google uh, search bar. You know, sure. so that's let let's continue working on that. I can um, I'll send you videos. I'll send you videos when you email me. I'll send you videos of videos that I watched on YouTube, and this is how I was able to acquire this information and then just apply it. And maybe you're not interested in doing it, but at least you understand what it takes to rank, and then you can just hire freelancers to do that work for you. Okay. It, it just depends how you want to manage your time. If you have money, then you can pay someone to do it. If not, you can learn it. And once you learn it, you'll learn it forever and ever, and you can apply for other businesses that you might want to set up in the future. Right, right. Well, great, David, man. I, I appreciate your time, man. You're doing great things for the community. I, I've learned so much from you, man, and I, you're a blessing. I, I, I just, I'm, I'm, I'm thankful for you. I appreciate it. Thank you so much, Quantrell. It was a pleasure meeting you, and I look forward to your email, sir. And All I, right, can, man. I will send you those photos as well. Uh, please, for the photos, uh, give me your Instagram in the email so okay. that I can, I can follow you on Instagram and send you the photos and videos through Instagram. Just because when it comes to email, the files are too big and it, it doesn't allow me to send big files. It wants me to do like a, like a, like a, what do you call it? Um, Dropbox. So it's much easier if you send me your Instagram on okay. email so that I can send you those pictures and videos to start posting on both YouTube, Google profile, and not just those two, but all your other social media platforms, Quantro. Roger that. Sweet. All right. Thank you, sir. All right, man. Peace. Take care. You too, sir.